this is just part two of the same video. I just, uh, I want to make sure I was picking the right one. What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come I mean, on, her daddy. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to daddy? Leave daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. No, you're not gonna do it now. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always <laughs> this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Here we are. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. All right, was he looking at our bomb? You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Oh, yes, bye. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. <laughs> I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if <laughs> you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> Apology accepted. Oh, my old wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Oh, there is. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and... I have no well. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Oh, what a Excuse dick. me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Hmm. Down here. He went around the corner. Come on. Showing up. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Mm. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Mm. Interesting. Come here, huh. quick. Mind there is. where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Damn. Oh. Giddy. I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. 
I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old <laughs> for brawling, mister? Damn you! <laughs> it was very nice to meet her. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Myself up a bit. Did. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Hmm. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Where are you going? I'm following him. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, sell something. you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. That's our brooch. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's like just a Mr. brooch. Gillis. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. <laughs> Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh. We're gonna buy the brooch back. We're gonna prove them hey, wrong. You, Ashton, hold her right there. Oh, he's running, is he? Damn it. God damn it, I need a horse. Hey! Stop that coach! How am I gonna catch this? Come on! I need a horse. There's my horse. My own horse. Move! Oh, ashes in this. <laughs> I bought that brooch fair and square. That's okay. Nice and close. You can't do this. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I want that brooch. 
It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Perfect. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Perfect. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Punk. Alright, girl. Yeah. Let's go. What the hell? Okay, never mind. I'm not in control anymore. Hundred bucks. That was a bit expensive, isn't it? Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. <laughs> Let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Let's go, Mary. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> hey, I paid him first. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Head to Definitely. the theater, perhaps. Uh. Let's do it. Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's, Let's go do it. to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot, but you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. <laughs> You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. Oh, wow, look at the theater. Gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. This is gonna be interesting. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Perfect. <laughs> See how the show goes. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> what? <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit, boys. We can't restart this mission? My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. What? Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. 
then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. Ah, what's it? But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. <laughs> but I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah, I'll write. Mary, don't leave me. This is probably the last time we'll ever see her. Man, like, I accidentally, like, press. Rodders. Oh, this is each chapter. Interesting. Let's go see whoever this brother is, and then we got a stranger to see. Alright, where's my house? Mister? Ah, uh, newspaper. Hello, mister. Hello. Mom, send me some newspaper then. Okay, then or don't. How far is my horse? You're not too far. Come on. There it is. All right, let's go. Looks like a Chinese district. Possible. Strange though. I heard back in the day there was like a lot of uh, Asian people here. I've yet to see one. Find strange. What's that in there? Oh, the trapper. Help the poor. Help the poor. What's wrong with poor, buddy? Kind, sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will <laughs> go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, Little anyhow? Girl. These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's <laughs> a downright fool, but, yeah. Usually, he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. Oh, I don't believe you can't have that. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. 
Help the really? Four. Well then we'll sign find that out then. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Now look at this. Now ain't this cool. Mountain man. I like that one. Huh. Oh, you gotta bring him all the stuff. You seem the ambitious yep. type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique belt. It will be worth it. Interesting. We can't afford. We got none of it. Increase ammo for revolvers and pistols. Thank you kindly. Oh, bye. Something you don't hear every day. Done. Cool. Sure, you'll okay. see a difference right away. There's some wrong with this place, yeah. Yeah, that can be reinforced, no trouble. There you go. Cool. Saddles. Oh. Mm. All right, thank you. All right, so we get sell you. Pleasure doing business with you. Feel free to browse. Shall do. Hmm. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Hmm. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid they're just what do you mean? old books. Uh, Something oh. don't seem right. Sir, oh. what are you doing back there? What's back here? Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They <laughs> made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it. So I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Scourge of Crossbreeding, really? Oh, he's just got me so mad now. Just wait. They made me do I'm gonna rob you swear. now. Now you've made Don't me mad. Me How dare you? I feel like knocking your ass out, boy. Well, that's anyway. You better not be. Scourge. 
crossbreeding. Like, unreal. Terrible. Oh. Like, putting a cap in his head. Ooh, who's down here? Better get the Hello? knife ready. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Oh my sweet Jesus. This is awful. You're free. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. <sighs> oh my God, this is awful. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> Terrible. Anyone else? My gosh. Where is that guy? I want to knock him out. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. Where's the money in the cash register? Oh, I could have gave it to them, but. Sorry, boys. I'm all about that money. Oh. Alright, guys. Have a good day. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Come on. Poor for poor. Come on. Terrible. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot <laughs> oh. French first. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh, here. Payment. For your no. services. I could not have freed these men myself. No, give it to give the, the money. Brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I like that mission. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Ah. I'll have to see you another time, then. Help a brother out. Awesome. Well, then. Let's see the stranger here. Okay, then, girl. Let's see the stranger. Somewhere in the saloon. Alright, let's see how well I would like in here. I don't see him being very well. Sure as day, you're a handsome one. And hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, yeah. bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Oh. Better be good. Santé. Quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole? <laughs> mm. That too. That too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? 
No, I'm a whole lass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? What's his name? Mm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, <laughs> but the vagina. That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. If you say so. Ah, trust me. I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <laughs> <sighs> I can imagine. So, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, Look entirely worthless. Unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Hmm. Good meeting you. Hmm. I bet you that's worth a lot of money back in, in the future. Back so soon, huh? But I don't judge. What are you having? Well, look at you. Whiskey. Whiskey. Are you interested in See something? how drunk we can get. Last fella I gave this to woke up in the swamp a day later. <laughs> Is that true? Where you from, mister? You know where to find me if you change your mind. Me? I'm St. Denis, born and bred. This is the real city right here. Might not look like much, but St. Francis you is the soul. You know I don't charge for talking. Not the mansion district with all those big old houses. You won't hear music Thank like you, you do around here nowhere else in the world. Ragtime. He puts rhythm in the white man. Can I get a whiskey? What do you care? Not much, I'm guessing. <laughs> no, I don't care. Whiskey. Let's see, hey talk there, to the girl. Listen, uh, just between us, another round? You haven't been telling people about the, uh, that little situation you helped me out with, have you? Just something I'd rather not people know what about. Hard enough maintaining my reputation in this part of town without rumors of uninvited guests. I'll have, uh, whatever you like. Whatever Finest you whiskey, like. I guess. I don't even remember helping this guy. You just gotta run with what life gives you. Oh, for sure. Ah, here we go. I say we're a little bit drunk now. Just Let's have a big drink, quick. Here's beer. Let's see what the ladies got to say. You having another one? Huh. Interesting. Hey, folks. Oh, my God. Sir? Howdy, big boy. It was nothing personal earlier. Well, that's too bad for you. you Again. Look some fun? Maybe oh. another time, darling. Nope. Okay. No Be seeing you. All right. Hello, yes, ma'am. I'll be thinking of you tonight, handsome. Wife. Having a slow night? Huh? Anyway, thank you. <laughs> she care. looks crazy. Arrivederci. Ladies? Hello there, sir. I'd like to be alone with you, honey. 
Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Anyway, folks, please don't mind me. Bye now, darling. Sorry. I like whiskey that burns. Oh, uh, you should you see yourself. <laughs> Got yourself into a hell of a state. <laughs> Just watch yourself, all right? Careful now. Alright, let's get drunk. Let's see how much we can drink. Good strong drinks so a man can get drunk fast and forget himself for a My while. My daddy's real <laughs> proud of me. My Man's daddy's real proud of me. Of me. <laughs> what the hell? Keep it coming for you? Yes. Give me something to drink, anything. Some tough times out there, lots of goings on. Always feels like nothing changes in here. That's right. <laughs> you having another one? One more, one us. Of course, keep them coming. Good strong drinks so a man can get drunk fast and forget himself for a while. That's right. Alright, we'll finish off with just a beer. I'll have uh whatever you like. Some tough times out there, lots of going on. Always feels like nothing changes in here. Perfect. None but Rana my resistor me. One more drink. See if any happens. Not over whiskey. Arthur's ain't drunk. Cheers. Alright, let's go after this. Oh, there we go. Thanks, partner. Let's take a peek. See what's going on up there. Yep. Man alive! What's going on here at Old Church? What's going on here? My friend. Oh, him again. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. <laughs> hey, buddy, he just stop! He's scared to the worst. Don't hurt him, please. He actually took the crucifix. Garbage. Hello, gentlemen. Just think I'd good morning to you. Well, look at you. Come on. Which way? This guy here might know. You alright? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Let's go. Me. Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last said. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. 
Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? <laughs> hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. This is Downs. Help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. This is Downs. Downs. Why does it sound so familiar? This is down. This is down. This is down. Hmm. Look out! Interesting. Don't worry, no harm done. What the hell? Why? Why are they shooting me? What the hell? Let's find a learning law. This mask works. When I was younger, I just used to frustrate. Mr. Morgan! Hey, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? All right. What anything left here to do? Oh, shit, we got a bounty of $5. All right, where's the nearest post office? Right there. Let's hurry up. We'll do one more mission, I say, and that's it. Let's pay off my bounty. Always nice to see a returning face. 
Happy to help you start over. Thanks. I know what. Come on. Ah, legendary fish is in this water. Let go. Try this one. Alligator. Let's see if Pearson wants this. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Oh, that was a good one. Good job, Mr. Not perfect, Morgan. boss. I'll take it. Alright, so let's see what the mission is. How are you doing? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, 
We yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, interesting. This. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest Ooh. of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be an interesting mission. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> this way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, this is going to be interesting. A beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves, mm, wow. you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony. All right. Mm, we're one of the important ones, are we? This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Is it? <Audrey> Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his... His very young wife. Oh, look young at her. mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, huh. and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> oh, interesting. 
All these vulgar people. We're gonna have to kill this person. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those huh. sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Interesting. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> what a dick. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. I like to put a bit if you're bullet in these heads. What's he unlocking that door for? Interesting. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Saint Denis. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. All right, let's mingle. Last of champagne, sir. Definitely. Don't drink a fancy, do we? Good evening, sir. Alfred Lafond. Gilbert Knightley. Nice one, Jose. Who's this guy? Let's help you out. You okay? <laughs> My lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, hmm. Hello. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, but me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. Hmm. Well, more like my card, sir. Of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who came here you visit in my atelier. Interesting. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Wow. He's actually going to throw up after eating. Wow, that tells you how long. Believe me, an anorexia has been going on. Evening, ladies. Hello there. How's things? Very well, thank you. Glad to hear it. Take care. A bientôt. Good evening. How do you do, sir? I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. Is there something wrong with you? But, but Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban mm. problem, but a rural problem. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not. 
drunk hmm. fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? <laughs> Get your hands off me. You leave the mayor alone. Sleep it off. Hmm. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Perfect. Then you can rejoin the park. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. <laughs> There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? <laughs> my lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Whoa, what? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, uh -oh. He shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry.
Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Servant, servant. What? What can I do? Hmm. Hey. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Hmm. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standards slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Hmm. I mean...
Interesting. Hmm, where are we now? Now then, what else is there? can be. Good. All the best now. Goodbye. Oh. Evening all. Hello, sir. Evening, folks. Hello. I'm only joking with you. Waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Hmm. Tree robberies. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? 
Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Uh.